Hello, welcome to a new episode of Journey to the Chateau. We are in the new year. Mm -hmm. uh, we are starting the renovations, or have started the renovations, prep work, um, and hope you like what we're doing. Bonjour à tous, bienvenue à Journey to the Chateau de Colombe. Und jetzt zu unseren Freunden aus dem deutschsprachigen Raum. Das neue Jahr hat angefangen und so haben die Renovierungen auch. Und ich hoffe, ihr mögt oder ihr befürwortet, was wir noch machen. Das hat ein bisschen mit Veränderungen zu tun. Ja, so we are continuing renovations in our bed and breakfast room here at the Chateau. And uh, this part is going to include how we are dealing with the toilet or the water closet. Yes, and now just to be quite frank here, both of us um, have <coughs> coughing. Uh, I think both have pretty much a bronchitis and a slight sinus infection. So we're not top of the game right now. So we are we're dragging a bit, but we have started with a project to incorporate the toilet that is in the former ladies' maid quarters, which is tiny. Uh, into the bed and breakfast room, and there are multiple reasons for it, and we can talk about it when you see it. There were quite a few people who said, why don't you just put the toilet in the alcove bathroom? Well, uh, short of stacking it on top of the bathtub. Right. <laughs> that didn't, it didn't work. Right. And yeah, the, the, previous, the previous bathroom in there, all it had in it was the sink and a bidet. Yes. And, and the reason for this is also the, the plumbing. So for just regular wastewater shower, bathtub and sink and bidet, the pipes are about this big around right and for toilets they're this big around right and it, so that bathroom is above the dining room mm -hmm. so the only way to get the wastewater down would be either put it through the dining room mm. for the toilet yeah. <laughs> yes lovely <laughs> or through the, the entrance hall also not that ideal right so since there was already this this toilet there in the landing in the former ladies maids quarters mm -hmm. That's what we're incorporating into making it completely private so that um, if guests who are here um, who get up at two o'clock in the morning needing to go to the bathroom, don't go out into the hall and maybe <laughs> other guests are coming up the stairs yeah. and you have to have a private conversation while you really, really need, need to go tickle. So that's why we're doing this. Right, right. And so uh, we came up there with, we uh, sort of wondered about different ideas of how to incorporate yes. that bathroom in. You know, originally we thought, you know, going through a wall in the bedroom in order to go straight into how it. How big are they? Yeah. This and uh, Yeah. And that's just, you know, just the integrity of, of the, the original part of the chateau. Yeah, we just didn't want to really go there. And Tony had the idea of actually creating a a second door that's a little bit further out, so we can actually a mini hallway, a little mini hallway, basically in front of the front door of the bedroom, to actually include the water closet. So uh, we had paneling and doors from an auction that we got. Uh, items that won last summer, right? We had a video about that. That was when Donna and her son Jack were here. They yep. helped. They helped us to unload all of the paneling and doors that we got from that auction. Now this is late 18th century paneling, and it is solid oak, so heavy, and so is the door. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're doing prep work. There will be a window, which is actually really. Uh, very common in that period. Right. We decided that it, we, since we, we could and we, we wanted to put a transom basically up at the top of that in order to allow light into this uh, opening yes. entranceway. Uh, so there will be electric. Um, mm -hmm. And Tony was so kind to say, hey, I'm, next week I'm coming and I'm going to build all the framework and put the door in. That's, and then we do drywalling. That's next week or the week after, depending on how this all right, goes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're doing now and this is the beginning of the process which is preparing that paneling yes. in order for us to be able to use it and the door don't forget the door absolutely <laughs>
Okay, can we just talk about this color for a moment? <laughs> this is shocking green. I don't even know what I would call that. Bio green, maybe? I don't know. There's nothing. Uh, this is a green that doesn't have any redeeming features. And that was the inside of an alcove, because this was an alcove door. And uh, we're converting this to, it, it's antique, it's about 200 years old. <coughs> uh, and we're building something in the chateau that wasn't there, but as we always said, we can, anything that we are doing can be reverted back to the original state, well, that we bought the chateau in. So, let me send this side as well. Uh-oh. That gas is so, it, there, there are, you can only see that on from certain angles. This, and look how green this glass is. Yeah, that piece was, was I noticed, was uh, greener than the others. Not was normal. It? No, it's not normal. Anyways, hello. Hello. Good Lord. And it's, so, it just crumbles. You, you, it, uh, I'm glad that's not a piece we're using. Yeah. And now people are going to say, what are you doing? It's pretty dull, so... Not much danger for me here. Uh, yeah. So what are we doing? What what am I doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I think that is uh, at this point debatable. So we have our little construction project on the landing upstairs. And we're gonna talk about that separately. So. What we're doing here is I am taking this piece of glass out so Stuart can cut through here with the oscillating tool. And he also has to take the hardware off. These windows, uh, our current windows are 100 years old. This window is older than they are. Yeah, so, so this is right. This was actually, we have multiple windows that were left here that were in the upper floor of one of the outbuildings. Oh, no, it was right our, our whole wing. Yes. Oh, that's right. It was in the way. It, it was actually Chateau. in the way. Yes. Yes. And so we actually have all Syria. And these, so these would have been maybe not the original windows, but no. they were more original than the ones that are in there now. <laughs> Let's just say that. How's that? Well, <laughs> so these, I, I would assume they're about 180, 200 years old. Right. Uh, well, the original windows would be 400 years by now. So and we have only one of those left, remember? That's right. So... We're cutting this to a shorter size because these very pretty windows, not right now, but hopefully when they're done, are going to build a transom right. into the hallway. Not to, and, and we've done a lot of research uh, for a chateau of that time. 
to to look what what did they do and this was actually very common in the hallway to have these transoms so light could come in right but you could still have still an enclosure right when they had ex interior walls and a limited amount of windows what they would do is they would put some glass windows inside in order to have light carry through into the different rooms yes yeah and uh yeah i mean again you can see here the entire chateau exterior was painted in a very light french gray it, i would say today that would be for the little green that would be french gray mid <laughs> yes okay so we are going to work on getting this ready yes uh, and of course, there is a second half to this window yes. as well. And there is a bit of a time constraint on it because uh, next week is the construction of this that is planned. We hope it will happen. But so it's planned. So we are a bit uh, pushed, pressed for time here. Uh, of course, they need to be sanded, fixed, primed, and painted at least twice. Right. So... Uh, okay, I'm gonna go and keep on moving here. Okay. Thank you.
So in the discombobulated state that we are in, uh, Stuart cut the really old windows down. So this is the side that will face into the entrance hall. I'm just going to sand at them. And I'm going to give them a coat of all surface primer. Hello, Amber. My supervisors are right here, of course. It's amazing how old these windows are and they have been exposed to, well, after they were taken out to water seeping through the defective roof and they are absolutely in wonderful condition. I don't think we could do that with windows today, just saying. The nice thing when you paint windows is that when you get paint on the glass, it doesn't matter. You just scrape it off later. You don't need to mask it. I learned that much too late in life. Amber, is that okay? I think it looks fantastic. So good progress so far. We have the, the paneling and the windows all sanded and ready to go. Mm -hmm. uh, we just need to get some paint on them. Yes. Yes. And <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good idea. And it's just, just so uh, the one of the reasons why we're doing some of the painting, the final painting beforehand that we will is because just the access of, of some of the, the pieces. It will be a little difficult to access from the staircase side. So oh, we'll, yes. Yes, so we'll be doing that. <laughs> so uh, hopefully we're feeling better. Yes, thank you for the cough. So hopefully we'll, <laughs> we will start feeling better soon. Now, we're drinking lots of tea. We are, yes. And we have um, wonderful honey that uh, Philip and Stephanie gave us at La Longue. It's delicious, really, really. Thank you so much. Um, uh, a daily nap helps too. Right. Uh, we're really quite sluggish, yes. but yes, uh, that will not deter us from from moving forward. We will continue. Yes, we will. <laughs> so that's it for this episode. If you like, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe and recommend it to your friend and family. Subscribing doesn't cost you anything, but it helps us a lot. And if you want to support the renovation of the Chateau, you can join us on Patreon. Or buy us a coffee. And we will see you on Wednesday. Absolutely. Au revoir. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye. Goodbye. If you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.